Natural world, elephants stand in a unique position, symbolizing strength, adaptability, and evolution. From ancient civilizations admiring the majesty and power of these magnificent creatures millions of years ago, to modern scientists studying their evolution and origins, the presence of elephants has always made a profound impression. However, the journey of elephants from ancient times to the present day has been anything but simple. Their evolution has spanned millions of years, witnessing changes in habitats, alterations in survival conditions, and competition among various species. Throughout each stage of history, elephants have adapted and thrived, evolving from small, primitive forms in prehistoric times to the giant, modern beings that remain formidable icons on the earth. Let us together explore the miraculous journey of elephants, from their earliest days of existence on this planet to their greatness and power in the modern world. Process 1. Moeritherium Moeritherium, one of the lesser known but highly significant ancient animals in evolutionary history, roamed the lands of Africa approximately 37 million years ago. Considered one of the closest ancestors of elephants, Moeritherium bears characteristics and structures closely related to the Proboscidea family, which includes elephants, mammoths, and mastodons. Moeritherium was a small animal, standing between 50 to 80 centimeters tall and weighing approximately 100 to 350 kilograms, resembling a deer. It had a compact body and long legs, with a short tail proportionate to its petite frame. One of the most notable features of Moeritherium is its dental structure. It had molars divided into lobes, along with some front teeth near the trunk. Based on this dental structure, scientists infer that Moeritherium likely primarily fed on grass and aquatic vegetation. Their small bodies may have allowed them to live near water bodies and swampy areas, where they could forage for food underground by digging. Moeritherium is considered one of the closest ancestors of elephants and other species within the Proboscidea family. Their existence marked a significant step in the evolutionary process of elephants, particularly in the development of the trunk and other characteristic features of the Proboscidea family. Process 2. Dinotherium Dinotherium, one of the largest ancient creatures on Earth, is a peculiar species of elephant-like animal that has captivated the attention of researchers and enthusiasts of the prehistoric world. With a name meaning terrible beast, Dinotherium has become an emblem of power and agility in the ancient world. Known as a member of the Proboscidea family, Dinotherium existed from the late Oligocene to the Miocene epochs, approximately 22 to million years ago, during the early stages of elephant evolution. Found in Europe, Asia, and Africa, Dinotherium adapted to a variety of habitats, from forests to grasslands, and from the southern to the northern extremes. A unique characteristic of Dinotherium is its distinct dental structure, like other elephant species. Instead of straight tusks like modern elephants, Dinotherium had curved tusks pointing downwards, creating a distinctive shape of its trunk. This allowed them to effectively use their tusks to cut grass or pull vegetation from the ground, adapting to their environment. Dinotherium also stood out for its large size. Fossils suggest they could reach heights of around 4 meters and weigh up to 10 tons, making them one of the largest creatures in the Proboscidea family. Diet Based on their curved tusks, Dinotherium likely fed mainly on grass and other vegetation. The development of their trunk also suggests they may have had the habit of feeding on grass and pulling trees from the ground to higher levels. This implies that Dinotherium may have lived in open habitats with abundant food resources. Due to their large size and robust body structure, Dinotherium may have moved slowly in their environment. Reproduction and Offspring Care The reproductive and offspring care capabilities of Dinotherium may have been similar to other elephant species. They likely formed family units and lived in groups, with the protection and care of group members playing an important role in nurturing young ones. Based on their large size and powerful body structure, Dinotherium may have moved slowly in their habitat. Process 3. Platybelodon Platybelodon is an ancient elephant species distinguished by its prominent flat, shovel-like teeth, 
which has captured the interest of scientists and enthusiasts of ancient fauna. With a name derived from the Greek meaning flat spear tooth, platybelodon has become an emblem of diversity in the evolutionary history of elephants. Platybelodon existed during the late Miocene and Pliocene epochs, approximately 15 to 5 million years ago. They were widely distributed across continents, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. Fossils of platybelodon have been found in various countries, from Myanmar to China and the Balkan region in Europe. One of the most notable features of platybelodon is its unique dental structure. They had a series of wide, flat teeth resembling saw blades, facilitating the grinding and shearing of rough vegetation and grasses. Additionally, platybelodon also had a small trunk, but unlike other elephant species, the trunk of platybelodon was formed from elongated tusks in the lower jaw. The average weight of platybelodon is estimated to be between 2 to 4 tons equivalent to approximately 2,000 to 4,000 kilograms. Platybelodon is considered part of the Gomphotheridae family, a branch of the Proboscidea family. Although it shares similarities with other elephant species, platybelodon possesses unique characteristics, particularly in its dental structure, making it one of the most distinct and remarkable ancient animals within the Proboscidea family. Process for Stegodon Stegodon existed from approximately 11 million years ago and became extinct at the end of the Pleistocene epoch, around 126,000 years ago. They have been discovered in various regions around the world, including Asia, Europe, and Africa. Stegodon was large in size, relatively compared to modern elephant species. The weight of Stegodon could range from about 4 to 12 tons, depending on the species and individual. They stood between 2 to 4 meters tall and sometimes had fairly large tusks on their trunk. Stegodon had straight and large tusks, similar to those of modern elephants. However, the tusks of Stegodon could be larger and have more folds, allowing them to process and grind rough vegetation such as leaves and grass. Stegodon adapted to various types of habitats, from forests to grasslands and savannas. They were herbivores, using their trunk to gather grass and leaves, and could also crop grass using their teeth. Stegodon had close evolutionary relationships with other elephant species in the Proboscidea family and is considered one of the ancestors of modern elephants. The evolution of Stegodon provides important insights into the development and evolution of elephants over millions of years. Process 5 Mammoth The mammoth, one of the most renowned representatives of the ancient animal world, is a symbol of strength and power in prehistoric times. With their large size, they could reach heights ranging from 0.5 to 4 meters and weigh from 4 to 8 tons. Their distinctive large curved tusks, along with their long fur, aided them in withstanding the cold during the Ice Age. Fossils have been found in North America, adding to their majestic and intimidating presence. The structure of their curved tusks allowed them to grind and shear rough vegetation such as leaves and grass, adapting to a diet of grasses and plants. Mammoths inhabited various types of habitats, from forests to grassy plains, holding a significant position in ancient ecosystems. Their evolution provides valuable insights into the evolutionary history of elephants and other animals on Earth. The reason for their extinction could be due to changes in the Earth's climate or overhunting by humans at the time. Process 6 Elephants Existing in Africa and Asia When mammoths became extinct, there were still two other types of elephants existing in Africa and Asia. These two elephant species have been around for 4 million years and they are direct ancestors of today's elephants. That's why the weaker species of elephants survive in Africa and Asia. In Asia, elephants have been domesticated as working animals in countries like Vietnam, Thailand, and India. Throughout history, elephants in these countries have served in warfare and economic production. In Africa, elephants are currently being hunted and poached excessively for their ivory tusks. Many international organizations have been established to protect elephants, 
and governments have taken strict measures against poachers. As you can see, the evolutionary history of elephants is long-lasting. From tiny ancestors, they continuously evolved to their large size today. From short noses, they developed into long trunks, and from small tusks, they grew into long, curved ones. The development of nature is truly miraculous, isn't it? Today, elephants vary in size depending on the species and individual. However, African elephants Loxodonta africana typically stand around 3 to 4 meters tall at the shoulder and weigh between 4 to 7 tons for females and 5 to 8 tons for males. Meanwhile, Asian elephants Elephas maximus are slightly smaller with an average height ranging from 2.5 to 3.5 meters and a weight of 3 to 6 tons. In conclusion, the evolution of elephants is a miraculous tale of adaptation and development over millions of years of natural history. From small and primitive forms in prehistoric times to the gigantic, powerful beings of modern times, elephants have demonstrated their resilience and versatility in diverse and challenging environments. Through evolution, Elephants have not only emerged as victors in the survival race on this planet, but also as symbols of strength and authority. Their presence is not just a part of the natural ecosystem, but also an endless source of inspiration for humans spanning from art to culture and science.